And right off the top is noon, we continue working the breaking news in Fort Lauderdale. That's where firefighters were battling a massive fire at a warehouse this morning. It broke out in the morning, and many of you noticed it was while you were driving on I-95. And we have team coverage on this fire. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margle and Snell Sabovic are both at the scene. So let's get things started with Ian. Good morning. Yeah, we've been out here for hours now, guys. We want to take you out live to Sky 10, who is overhead right now. Crews have begun to wrap up this scene. They were dumping water for hours on this warehouse. Now investigators have their hands full trying to figure out exactly how it started. Don't know what's inside. Don't want to find out. Black smoke billowing from this warehouse just north of the Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport Wednesday morning. The plumes of smoke could be seen for miles, and witnesses nearby say it seemed to start out of nowhere. I just heard an explosion, a little explosion. All of a sudden I hear a big explosion, and then I see black smoke everywhere. Fire crews say this warehouse was for a company called Conceal and was full of mixed chemicals. Firefighters who were battling the flames could be seen being decontaminated once the fire was under control. Due to the nature of the materials it stored, in that building and the adjacent building, we have declared it a hazardous materials scene, and we currently have Broward Sheriff's Office hazmat team and Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue's hazmat team working in the structure. Dozens of crews battled the fire for hours. Fortunately, no one was inside when it started. As the fire progressed, it, there were several more explosions, and the fire vented itself through the roof, and uh, the commander decided that it would be best to do a defensive operation. You're taking another live look from Sky 10 right now. The twisted metal, what is left of this warehouse, a total loss inside of there, an absolute mess for these owners to be cleaning up. Back out live here in Fort Lauderdale, we do know that one Fort Lauderdale firefighter was injured. He had a leg injury. He is going to be staying in a hospital overnight, but he is expected to be okay. We're live in Fort Lauderdale. Ian Margul, Local 10 News. All right, well, that's certainly good news. And many businesses have also been impacted by this fire in Fort Lauderdale. And some have actually needed to be evacuated. So let's continue our team coverage with Local 10 News reporter Sinella Sabovic. Good afternoon, Chris. They want to take you another live picture from Sky 10. As you can see, crews kind of wrapping up over here in Fort Lauderdale. And next to that warehouse, you can see are dozens of businesses all told to evacuate due to the hazardous chemicals that were inside of that warehouse. But those business owners that we spoke to say since the fire didn't impact them, they're still open for business. Neighbors and business owners describe a loud crash. While I was inside, it just like shook the house. Yeah, One of those like a thunder big clap. giant thunderclaps right over your house. That early morning jolt was a warehouse exploding and erupting into flames. You can see a large plume of smoke billowing from the roof of the structure located just north of Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport off West McNabb Road. Dozens of businesses surround Conceal International, which stores numerous chemicals and hazardous materials. Business owners nearby were told to evacuate while crews worked the scene. We did institute a three block evacuation, mandatory, and a three mile voluntary evacuation. Mark Albright owns a business down the block and says he isn't impacted and isn't going anywhere. We just uh, waited for uh, things to clear up, but you know we just kept working and having business. And take another look from Sky 10 here as crews are wrapping up over here. The three block mandatory evacuation is still in effect, at least until these crews clear the scene here. Back out live now, that fire remains under investigation. It is still too early to tell just what caused it. That's the latest from Fort Lauderdale. Sinella Sabovic, Local 10 News.